I'm gonna give you guys three numbers, a three number sequence, and I have a rule in mind that these three numbers obey. And I want you to try to figure out what that rule is. But the way that you can get information is by proposing your own set of three numbers to which I will say yes that follows my rule or no it doesn't follow my rule and then you can propose what you think the rule is. Is that fair? Yeah. Yeah. That's okay, good. so here here are the three numbers. Two, four, eight. Two, four, eight. You don't need to continue the sequence. You can propose a totally different sequence, whatever you want to propose, and I will simply say yes or no. That Two, follows my four, rule. Two, four, eight. 1632 16 32 and 64 yeah. uh, those also follow my rule okay what's the rule what Mul- are you thinking uh, multiply by two that is not my rule what that's not my rule but you're allowed you, if you want propose three other numbers three six twelve three six, six twelve uh-huh. three six twelve uh-huh. follows my rule 10, 20, 40. 10, 20, 40. That follows the rule. Yeah, I'm still multiplying by two. I know. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I know what you're doing. And yes, it follows my rule. But no, it's not my rule. 5, 10. 10 and 20. Follows my rule. 100. 200. 400. Follows my rule. 500, 1,000, 2,000. Follows my rule. Want, want me to keep going? But do I just keep going? You're going to tell me your rule? <laughs> <laughs> Am I doing it the wrong way? Am I, am I, am I approaching this the wrong way? You're totally fine, okay. but you're approaching it the way most people approach it. Like, think strategically about this. You want information. Yeah. I have information. The point of the three numbers, right, is to allow you to figure out what the rule is. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I'm going to give you the numbers that I don't think fits the sequence and then see what you say. So I'll say two, four, seven. Fits my rule. So whatever I propose is right. So is your rule like... You can propose any number. So the rule is anything we say is yes. No. Damn it. <laughs> but you are on the right track okay. now. Hit me with three numbers. Three, six, nine. Follows my rule. Mm. Oh, that didn't follow my rule. This is good, right? <laughs> Five, ten, fifteen. That follows my rule. What? Oh. Really? Yeah. I don't believe this. <laughs> One, two, three. One, two, three. Follows the rule. What about seven, eight, nine? Follows. <laughs> yes, that follows the rule. Eight, sixteen, thirty-nine. Fits the rule. Excellent. <laughs> but we're no closer to the rule. <laughs> I want you to get to the rule. How about one, seven, thirteen? Follows the rule. What? <laughs> Eleven, twelve, thirteen. How does this follows make the sense? Rule. Ten, I nine, don't know eight. how to do this. Does not follow the rule. Ten, nine, eight does not. Oh, so is it all in ascending order? Booyah. Okay. Up top. Yes, first ones to get it. You guys nailed it. That's the rule. That's That's the rule. Increase numbers in increasing order. Numbers in ascending order. One, two, three, four, five, six, ten, fifteen, twenty-five. Doesn't matter. Any numbers in ascending order. I was inspired to make this video by the book The Black Swan by Nassim Taleb. Now the black swan is a metaphor for the unknown and the unexpected. I mean, in the old world, the theory was that all swans were white. So each instance of a white swan would make you think, yeah, that theory's pretty good. But the point is, you can never prove a theory true. And in fact, when people found Australia, they realized that there were black swans. What was interesting for me was that everyone I spoke to came up with a rule very early on and then only proposed numbers that fit with that rule they were thinking. I was looking for you guys to propose a set of numbers that didn't follow your rule and and didn't follow my rule. I was looking for you guys not to try to confirm what you believe. You're always asking something where you expect the answer to be yes, right? Like you're trying to get at it yeah but instead you want to get the no you want to get the no because that's much more informational for you than the yes like if everything's giving a yes that is really true once you say that that is what's so important about the scientific method we set out to disprove our theories and it's when we can't disprove them that we say this must be getting at something really true about our reality So I think we should do that in all aspects of our lives. If you think that something is true, you should try as hard as you can to disprove it. Only then can you really get at the truth and not fool yourself.